Hello everyone, welcome back to this video series on clinical SAS Adam programming. In this video, we will see how to create imputations for dates. So we'll see imputation of missing date components. So we'll be using 01 for missing day and Jan for missing month. So in this example, we are trying to bring it uh, to the start of the year or start of the month. So let us now go to the specification and then see. So here the specification is provided for two variables. One is ASTDT and the second one is ASTDTF. The variable label for ASTDT is analysis start date and the label for ASTDTF is analysis start date imputation flag. So let's see the derivation given for ASTDT first. So it has three sections A, B and C. The first section says when date collected is full so it says convert it to numeric format and when the day component is missing so use 01 for the day component and convert it into numeric format and the third component says when the month and day component are missing use 01 for day component and 01 for month and convert it into numeric format so three conditions given when date is full when day is missing, day and month are missing. So when day is missing, we'll have to assume it as the start date of that month. And when month and year are missing, we'll have to assume it as 0101, which is first Jan of that year. And then we'll see the derivation for ASTDTF. It says set to M when month and day components are imputed. Say for example, that, that would be met when the component C is met. So in that condition, so we will have to impute it as M we'll have to flag it as M. Set to D when the day component is missing. So when only day component is missing, which is handled in part B of ASTDT derivation. So in the, all the cases where this condition is met, so we'll have to populate ASTDTF as D. Let us now move to the programming. Before that, let us take a look at the input data set that we will be using. So we'll be using the concomitant medications as example. Here we have subject ID and CMSTDTC which is concomitant medican, medication start date is being provided. Here if we see on the first record we have full date 0101-2010. On the second record we do not have the day component reported. So only month and year are reported. On the third record so we only have year collected or year is reported. Neither the month or now the day is present. And on the fourth record it is full fully missing and on the last record we have 0 to 2010 which is Feb 2010 we do not have the day collected. So now let us move to the programming and then see how it is implemented. So here I am uh, reading CM data set and then creating a temporary data set called CM01 and then in using that CM01 data step in the next data step to create a data set called CM02. So here I am checking if length of CMSTDTC is equal to 10, then ASTDT is equal to input of CMSTDTC YYMMDD 10 dot. So as per ISO standard notation, so when we have full date, the total number of characters in it will be 10. So if we go back and then see the uh, input data, so when we have the full date, 2010-01-01 so we'll have four characters for year two characters for month and two characters for day so which will be eight overall but we have a hyphen separator between year and month and hyphen separator between a month and day so these two separators will make the overall length to 10 characters so when we will know by checking whether a date is full or not by checking the length of that variable. If length of CMSTDT is 10, which means the date is full. So in all those cases, we are directly converting the CMSTDTC value to ASTDT by using input function. So the SAS equivalent format for ISO 8601 notation on uh, date is YYMMDD 10 dot. So we are using this in format and converting the date to numeric format. So in ASTDT, the value would be stored as number of days from 1st Jan 1960 because that's how SAS stores numeric date values. Else, if length of CMSTDTC is equal to 7. So when only 
year and month are present so the overall length would be seven if we take a look at the data again so we have four characters for year two characters for month and one separator between these two so the overall length would be seven when only we have uh, year and month collector and day is missing so we are checking whether we have such kind of scenario if that is the case if the overall length of the cmstdt is 7 then we are creating astdt but here we have directly used cmstdtc when the date was full but here we are using an expression to create a full date and then convert it into numeric so now let's see how this expression is will get resolved to so we are saying we are using catx function so here we are saying that we want hyphen to be used as delimiter between the value present in cmstdtc and the text 01 so how would this get resolved to so when the length is 7 so if we have a value of 2010 hyphen 01 so this 01 would be added at the end but with a delimiter of hyphen in between the present value and additional text 01 so this will become a full date with 01 for the day component so which is what was the requirement in the specification so when only year and month is present we were asked to assume it as 01 so we are temporarily creating that full date by concatenating 01 in this expression to the character cmstdtc and then converting it into numeric format using input function so again in the same step we are assigning astdtf with the value of d because we were asked to populate it with the value of d when year and month is present but day is missing so that is exactly the case here so I, when i am checking for this condition i am creating both the variables astdt and astdtf and then the condition when if cmstdtc is equal to 4 if we go back and then take a look at the data so if we only have year present or reported we will only have four characters so we are checking if the number of characters present in cmstdtc and if it is equal to 4 which means that only year is presented if in that if that is the case so we were asked to consider it as first jan or 0101 for month and day respectively so here again similar to the previous expression but here we are concatenating 01 for month and 01 for year or 01 for day so again i am using catx function i am specifying that hyphen has to be delimiter to the value present in cmstdtc concatenate a hyphen between this 01 and the value 2010 and then hyphen and then the value 01 so this temporarily will become the value like 2010 hyphen 01 hyphen 01 so and then we are converting that to numeric format using input function and yymmdd 10 dot in format so as per the specification we were asked to populate the value of m in astdtf when only year is collected and day and month are being imputed so we are populating that here and then finally so to the numerically created value so i am assigning a format of date 9 to the astdt variable and finally i am keeping only the required variables in the in a logical sequence so let us now take a look at the cm02 data set and then see how it looks like so here we have our output data set or cm02 data set so which is kind of equivalent only here in this example so here so when the date is full so we were directly asked to convert it here it is first gen so the day value would be first gen 2010 so here the date was partial so 01 so which means jan 2010 was reported but we had to convert it to first jan 2010 so which is what is happening here in astdt imputation and then as we are only imputing day here so the astdtf should be indicated with the value of t so which is coming correctly and then on the third record if we see we have only year collected when only year is collected we were asked to impute it as first jan so as expected this value is coming as first jan 2010 but here in this case we are imputing both month and day so astdtf should represent that with the value of m so we have it so here in this case we have the date as completely missing so there was no imputation rule given for when the date is full or when the date is completely null so we do not have astdt populated in this case and finally we have another example where only day is missing which is 
Feb 2010. So in that case again, so when only day is missing, we were asked to impute it with the start date of the month. So the start date of Feb 2010 would of course be 1st Feb 2010, which is expected in ASTDT. So this is coming correctly. And then ASTDT F as only day is being imputed. So we are populating it with the value of T. So this is how you can impute dates when the logic is simple like this. Thank you for watching and keep learning.